morning, everybody. Now, I don't know if you realised this, but yesterday was a very special day. I'm sure some of you are going to mention why it was a very special day. Oh, we had a hand go straight up there in Willow class. I can't quite see who you are, but could we hear why yesterday was a very special day? Was it because it was St David's Day? Absolutely, it was St David's Day. And any of you with any Welsh blood in you, oh, I'm sorry, that's my telephone ringing. We should ignore that. Any of you with any Welsh blood in you will know that it was the patron saint of Wales's day, St David. That's excellent. And sometimes people wear daffodils because that's the flower of Wales. And sometimes people wear leeks because that's the vegetable of Wales. I wonder if we've got a vegetable in England. I'll have to look that up. But actually, it wasn't because it was St. David's Day that I was going to mention today. Did you know that it was also National Non-Human Phone and Thank Day? Did you know that? That's, I'll just say that again, National Non-Human Phone and Thank Day. Any ideas? You're looking a little bit confused about this idea. Well, I'm pleased to say that Cannington School did have many, many messages come in on National Non-Human Phone and Thank Day. In fact, here are some of the messages. Um, they got passed to me by Mrs Rose. And I'm just going to read out what these messages are. Um, I'll only read the first name of the people they're directed for because I don't want to embarrass anyone. OK, so this is a message for Tyler. Your toothpaste tube, Tyler, phoned in to say thank you for putting the top back on yesterday because apparently you keep forgetting that and he does get upset. So well done. OK, next one. Um, right, I've got a message here for a Isla. OK, um, Isla, your bedroom phoned to say that although it's still in a state of shock, it wants to say a really big thank you for tidying it up this weekend. It hates being messy and it's very grateful. So that was a nice message there for an Isla. I don't know which Isla that is, but that's good. Oh, look, now we've got a message here for a Tom. A message for Tom. It's from your dog, Tom. Apparently he phoned to say thank you for sharing with him your feelings about life. He does understand and he likes you talking to him. By the way, he does like your sister, despite what you told him. OK, so well done, Tom. And yeah. I think that's all. Those are the messages that I'm just going to share with you today. Lots. Oh, no, sorry. One more message. One more message here for Mrs. Doney. Uh, here we go. Mrs. Doney, it's a message from your teddy bear and Teddy phone to say thank you for loving him and caring for him so much and always taking him away with you when you go away. All right. Excellent. Oh, it looks like Mrs. Doney's very glad to hear that message from her teddy bear. So that is what National Non-Human Phone and Thank Day is all about. It's the non-human things in our lives phoning up and thanking us. Do you think that's a real day? Put your hand up if you think that was a real day. Or oh, a few of you did. Put your hand up if you think that Reverend Allison made that entirely up. Oh, most of you did. Most of you thought that was it. Well, you're quite right. Of course, that's ridiculous. Your toothpaste tube can't ring you up, nor can your teddy bear. But I think it does make a serious point because it's really important to be thankful and to say thank you. And sometimes it's the small things in life that we forget to be thankful for. The idea behind National Non-Human Phone and Thank Day came from a vicar and he thought of it when he was watering his plants and this is what he said. 
He said, I know how much I appreciate a glass of water, especially when I'm hot. And I felt that my flowers really enjoyed being given a drink. And somehow I imagined them to be really grateful. Then my mind wandered to other things that might want to say thank you to me if they could speak. We take too much for granted, don't we? When we turn on the tap, we take for granted that clear, clean and refreshing water is available to us. We've all heard of countries where there is a water shortage. Imagine if we had to survive the rest of the week with no water to drink, no water to wash with, being unable to flush the loo. There are lots of little things that we can be thankful for. And whilst the non-human things might not be able to be thankful with their voices, it doesn't mean that we can't be thankful with ours. I'm going to read you a little poem written by a child. I can open my eyes and see. I can open my mouth and say, thank you. Thank you for today, for a comfortable bed, hot water, breakfast, clean clothes, my shoes. Thank you for people who care, for milk, for post, the telephone, computers, our car, petrol. Thank you for blue skies, for rain, my dog, flowers in the garden. Thank you for new friends, for my grandparents. Thank you for reading and writing. Who am I thanking? All sorts, it doesn't matter. But saying thank you does. For people who have faith, then Thanksgiving's really important. And sometimes before we have a meal, we say a special prayer to say thank you. Does anyone know what that prayer is normally called? We call it something, a prayer before you eat your food. Any ideas? Can't see any hands up. It's called a grace. We say grace. For food to eat and those who prepare it, for health to enjoy it and friends to share it. We thank you, Lord. That's a good one. Rub-a-dub-dub. Thanks for the grub. That's another good grace. I like that one. Nice and quick and to the point. Of course, there was a very rude grace once said by um, Bart Simpson. And he said, dear God, we pay for all this food anyway. So thanks for nothing. I thought that was very rude. But some of you are laughing at that. We say thank you even if we have bought it ourselves. It's about having an attitude of gratitude. So let's just spend a moment in quiet, being still. And I'd like you to join in with this prayer. I'm going to say thank you for something by saying we are thankful. And after I've said it, can you all say we are thankful? One, two, three. For families and friends, we are thankful. We are thankful. For the beauty of nature and the world around us, we are thankful. We are thankful. For all the things in life that we too often take for granted, we are thankful. We are thankful. Please help us to be willing to show our thanks, not only in what we say, but also in what we do each day. We are thankful. We are thankful. Amen. Four. Thank you very much for listening. Um, I will let you know if any more messages come in from um, any inanimate objects in your houses to say thank you and have a very wonderful day. Bye bye.